Who is gonna get exposed tonight? Step on that dish. Every Namibian is entitled to my opinion. Yesonia opening up about her failed marriage to the Ims plus wine Gubi is not the homewrecker we all thought she was. Here's the thing, if you're a Namibian, then you probably know the scandal of Tate Ims and Yesonia's divorce plus Gubi. When the story happened back then, I don't know which year it was, we all thought that Gubi was the was the one that broke. Yes, Sonia entered the Imsa's marriage. Mara Nani. It's not true. And yes, Sonia herself had been going around giving interviews to Maria Nepembe and Josie Joss explaining as to exactly what happened in her marriage. Mm -hmm. She and the in, in the interview that she gave to Josie Joss was actually very insightful. But before you get into the story, how yes, Sonia this do yes, Sonia Personally, how did you give this interview to Josie Jose with 200 subscribers? And Mario couldn't give this interview to me, Namibia's hot tea, with almost 40,000 subscribers. Please, yes, Sonia, next time you're promoting a video or your whatever, can you please hit up Namibia's hot tea and promote it here so that I can interview now? So I, say, I need to hear this juice, this team myself. Anyways, yes, Sonia on Josie Jose's channel said that no which are no one me Guvi was an innocent person that just got caught in the crossfires between Tate Ims and Yasonia. And the way she's talking about the marriage name, it made me realize no these people's relationship did not stand a chance because the man was a broken man and I think Yasonia thought she could help fix this man. And women all over Namibia take note it's not your job to fix a broken man. It's really not your job. A broken man should fix himself, not you. Because in this interview, Yesonia opened up about Nokcha no one before they got married or the day or the whatever, that the Ims already made another person pregnant while they were about to get married. I don't even understand why she went through with the marriage, but she said apparently her parents forced her. And I'm sure it also the money, although she doesn't want to admit it, it was the glamorous life that she wanted. Apparently she doesn't regret the wedding, but apparently it started on her wrong foot. Tate. And after the got married, Tane, apparently Tate Ims was sleeping around with every single person with a skirt on in town and that drove her crazy and that's the reason why she moved and then after putting up too much with that in cheating on her being seen around with any floozy around town it forced her to move to uk just to for a peace of mind but Nanine, while she was in the uk that's when Goovy came into the picture i'm sure that the ins told Govi that no, no, my wife, we're divorcing or something, something along those lines. And I'm sure Govi thought I'm going to the marriage was over. She had no idea that Nani, that the Ims was basically having an affair with her. She had no idea. So apparently Nani, so, Sonia, Sonia found that out, came and threw now Govi the whole thing. And I'm glad in that video, she's even admitted that no, it had nothing to do with Govi. It had to do with trash himself because he's the one that has been sleeping around with any floozy with a dress on and that's what she said that Nguvi is innocent she did not do anything she was just at the wrong place at the wrong time and i'm so glad that she's admitting that Achashi. all along me and every namibian out there we thought Nguvi was the homewrecker she was the one that wrecked that marriage maranani it's not so it's that the ends himself he could not keep his dingling in his pants and I was shocked. That's how all Namibian men are. The good thing, at least I can celebrate about Jason, is that her life will be set from now until forever. Shashi, those child support payment, honey, those will keep her afloat for the next 18 years. And this, oh. anyways, here are the interviews that she gave to Josie Joss and I just took up the important snippets but you can go on Josie Joss's channel or Maria Nebembe's channel and check it out there and Tunguvi can we all, all 
us Namibians are pleased to apologize to Ngovi Shashi. We also she was the homeworker Marani, the Kachik is not the homeworker. And please, yeah, Sonia, please, you need to make a turn. You, when you release a music video or you want to promote your music, please hit up Namibia's Hoddy on Instagram and so that you can, can promote. So I can also get an, an exclusive interview, Shashi. Giving it to Juicy Juice was just a waste of time with how many 200 subscribers. What he was going to. And yes, Sonia, you were on Mariana Bemis' channel complaining that Namibians are not supporting and blah blah blah. But you don't promote. How come you didn't come to my channel and promote your thing here? Anyways, guys, here here's the interview that yes, Sonia gave to Josie Jones and Mariana. I just compile them, watch them, and tell me what you think about it in the comments down below. But I, I, I kind of just want to understand what what, what transpired. Yeah. Okay, so what, what basically happened is because our foundation, what what had, what broke our marriage is our foundation was rocky. Mm. Um, our foundation was bad, really, because um, he was trying to protect us initially. Okay, so I'm talking about something I've never really spoken about in my yeah, life. Yeah. Um, so when we met, there was somebody that was pregnant, right? Mm -hmm. And he never got the courage to tell me that somebody was expecting his child. And we met and everything moved pretty fast because obviously there's this thing on the side. Um, and we got, he proposed. Mm -hmm. And because before the big wedding in the desert, yeah. before the lavish wedding, oof, I, I don't regret I, that. I, I, ooh, I, I have, have a time with my life. I to put a disclaimer, I was there. No, oh, okay. I was there. So. I, had, I had a blast. Mm -hmm. uh, but before that time, we were already married, basically, mm -hmm. uh, by magistrate. Okay. So, now, before, just a week before the magistrate date, he told me he had something to tell me, and that was something I was pregnant. And I, I didn't take it well. Because mm -hmm. I was like, whoa, but man, man, something was pregnant, you didn't tell me? Wow. So, um, the foundation was broken then, and I'm being very open about it. Okay. Um, and um, I lost my trust basically, but I went through it because you know, parents intervene, and you know, like I, you know, kind of, you know, you know black parents mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? Um, anyways, a woman has got to stand with this man anyway, regardless of his mistakes, he's human. Mm -hmm. So I thought I would take it then, and then fine, we went ahead with it, but you know, the foundation was broken then already. I became paranoid. Um, I thought every woman who texts or every woman who texts is pregnant also with another child or he's having a certain, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, extramarital affair already, mm -hmm. you know, so it, it shaked our marriage. Mm -hmm. So, and then apparently now for, according to him, he tried to fix it but by taking us to Bushiri. Mm -hmm. and everybody also knows about that. Yeah, which was video. public. It was public, it was public as well. Yeah. Uh, which I didn't know about. And then, um, <clears throat> so that also didn't work. <laughs> Knowing who she is, you know, he's an mm. entrepreneur, mm -hmm. so <laughs> it obviously didn't work. Okay. So, yeah, that's how things basically fell apart because you know things were just not working, and it's not because of Goofy, guys. Goofy has got nothing to do. Do was just in the wrong place at the, at wrong, the wrong time, time. or oh, at the right place. No. Maybe you know she, she I needed her also to you know escape from this whole thing, but the has got nothing to do with this. But there there were many stories around that that for example that you were out of the country for about three months. And Not even three months. I was out of the country for five months. For five months. Because because and, and during that period there was each stories about the fact that you were sort of cleaned out the account and <laughs> and and and. and and you sort of deserted your marital home and you left there the were a lot of stories. Yeah. There were a lot of stories. You know, some stories I haven't even heard yet. But I can tell you there were a lot of stories. And I was only out of the country for five days. And that was just my message to tell you, you know what? I, I had it. You know, I didn't, you know, I, I just wanted to get a break from everything. Mm -hmm. And then my nanny calls me. She tells me, there's this uh, movie here. You know, and, mm. and my daughter was still late. So I had to come back to save her, basically, to get my daughter out of the house because there's another woman in the house. It's a long story. 
But we have time again. Go into all. We have got time. <laughs> so, 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 so you heard about the the other woman that's mm -hmm. in your house, mm -hmm. and you decided to come. And she came in. Yeah, apparently she came in because. Okay, because my husband started calling people around, asking them, "Where's my wife at?" And uh, you know, maybe Gubi was a friend to him or something already. And everybody said, "Come to the house you know, to console him," and the wife ran away. So basically, that time she came into the picture, and then I was still in the UK, and I had arranged for my daughter to be taken to my mom's mm -hmm. at soccer. But um, he didn't want that. He hung on to the child. It's like nobody's going to take my daughter or whatnot. So I had to come back because another woman is in the house with the child. So I had to come back to rescue my child. And also, I came back because I needed evidence. Because I was always saying, no, he's not being faithful. What proof do you have? Do you have evidence? So I came in discreetly to sort of find her there so I can get my evidence for her. That was the plan. But was she in a relationship with him? Or was she simply just staying there? Oh, I can't answer that. It's a relationship. I don't know. Or maybe the relationship started after this whole facade or whatever. I don't know. So. But it turns out they were in a relationship. Okay. So when this happened, did you stay at the house or did you move out? I moved out. You moved out. Mm -hmm. But because when, when you had left, mm -hmm. you, you, why did you leave at the time? Like, mm -hmm. I was be, fed up. you were fed up. I was fed up. I had. Look, the thing is with the black men is they expect young wives to understand what they put women through that have been made for. 30 years. But if you're married to an old Konyama lady who is just worried about her kids and cooking and you know her epatare and whatever, it's you know it's understandable because you know the priorities are different. But as a young, I was only 24, and I just want to be married to my man. And like maybe I looked at marriage different, you know. So maybe it's also an age thing. Um, mm -hmm. Then maybe men expect you to be sort of tolerant to what they put women through now but that that crap gives you stress you want you to with women either the same age as myself or even a bit older because you're 24 you're married fine you have a certain level of maturity but you don't want to go through that you don't want to experience that so i was like getting calls girls at hilton girls at what what and then we came back from Bushiri, apparently we were now delivered. It was, it was his idea, him and his family member. Uh, and then we come back one week later and then he's, he spotted at places at Kubata, he spotted at wherever with other women. So that, was, that just became too much for me. And I, I went to bed one day and I was like, Sonia, is this the life you want to live? Is this really what you're going to put yourself through? Mm. Because nobody understands what you go through. Mm. Nobody goes to bed with you. You know? So I was just like, ah, oh, no. I had enough. And one day, it took me literally 10 minutes to pack my bags and leave. It took me 10 minutes. I packed. I didn't even pack. I didn't even care about materials. I didn't care. I just wanted a piece of mind. I wanted to get away. I wanted to find myself again. And, and then you went away. I went to London. So you went to London? Yes, because number one, London does not require visa. Mm -hmm. And South Africa was too close. I was like, if I go to SA. Hey guys, mm -hmm. there's a lot of things that happen to people. So when people are bowling and people are living their best life, I look at them, it's like, okay, mm, that's good. You just, just take care of yourself. <laughs> have, you, have you ever... Ooh, without having to mention have you ever after that incident okay maybe i can just explain it a little bit <laughs> okay. so there was a there was there was a case where she came home and she found another woman in her house that's what happened mm -hmm. that's all we're gonna say have you ever like run into her on the streets or anything like seen her somewhere 
after that 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 surprisingly no like yeah. I, I what do you think that would be like i don't know if she's still alive i don't know if she's still you know fine i i really haven't i'm also a person who doesn't really pay attention to external factors everything yeah. else that happens outside of my being is totally external mm. <laughs> Oh wow! But but, but yeah. even alter, al, al, in an alternate wait, mm. whatever in a different world, a pretentious world, and you were one day in a queue somewhere, and she's standing in front of you. What do you think would happen? Would you talk to her and just be like, "Hey, what happened? You know, like my bad for my part. I apologize. You know, like is that something you would like to do?" For me, I've, it's. It had nothing to do with her. Yeah. Um, my divorce had nothing to do with her at all. I think she was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. She was a victim as well. Yeah. And you also actually managed to still believe in love after all of that. Because I know homegirl oh. is. Expose, 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 expose.